I don't learn a lot of things from my uh, Jelly Club. Here's two of them. Never sell yourself short and don't oversell. Selling yourself short by being too humble about yourself. Give credit where credit is due. Even if it's all about you. Don't oversell means presenting about your product or service too much or, well, not giving allowance for questions. First time to use alcohol since the lockdown started. Ay salama. Especially during a proposal. Do not, well, do not sell yourself short or, well, more likely don't oversell. Now, uh, I'm gonna take this break because you wanna know why I uh, why, why I sang sailing a while ago because well sailing takes me away where I've always heard it be. I've been following Christopher Cross's Instagram for a while now and um, as some of you may know um, he's been he's been battling COVID-19 right now he's battling COVID-19 right now <clears throat> and as of last check I think he's, uh, he has a problem walking okay so he's undergoing rehab right now and well that's sort of a little tribute to 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 a pop legend right he's one of my idols actually I remember the first time I um, I heard Christopher Cross's music again through my dad. Uh, 1980, he bought an, he bought a copy of his first album, okay, Christopher Cross, self-titled, the one that gave him the Grammy, the one that gave him the Grammy Grand Slam, the first ever Grammy Grand Slam. Uh, it's such a memorable album, and I thought when I first heard it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was only seven years old at the time. So. When he released the song, uh, Swept Away from, his, from the album Back of My Mind. Okay. I think I, I thought this is wow. Sa puso tong kantang to. <laughs> so that that got me sold into Christopher Christopher Cross's music, the song "Swept Away." So you know, I went back to after hearing "Swept Away," I went back to his first album, and that got me got me really sold into his music. So, to you, Christopher Cross, get well soon, and we hope. Uh, and we hope to see we hope to see you perform again here in the Philippines. So yeah, get well soon, idol. Okay, get well soon. You know what? So this leads me to another <laughs> another diaries entry. <clears throat> we have been too caught up with uh, technology. Okay. Most uh, most of us are too caught up with vanity metrics. Uh, even even the score even the score on a video game machine. Okay, eto example na to. I've been I've been video keying for about an hour now. Pag magand, my timing was great on one song and it gives me a score of seventy nine. I sang Billy Joel, She's Always a Woman a while ago. I It sucked. And the score is 93. <laughs> the score is 93. Alright? I sucked at She's Always a Woman. Kanina. But the score is 93. So, yeah, that's... It's a great example. It's a... The uh, video... The video game machine is a great example. Okay? You just cannot trust technology all the time. Alright? We humans have a thing called instinct and confidence. Okay, it's our well, we can say our um, 
our two main tools for survival. Okay, instinct and confidence. If you feel you're, um, you didn't do a good job on something, then trust your gut. Trust your gut. You didn't do, you didn't do, you didn't do good. But don't get caught up in, don't wallow. Don't wallow in, uh, in that. Just pick yourself up and, well, carry on. Right? Don't trust technology that much. Right? Especially the vanity metrics on social media. Okay? For me, well, I don't trust, I don't trust likes a lot. Okay? From my degree of uh, degree of trust, comments are number one. Right. Comments are number one for me. Second are follows and subscribes. Follows and subscribes. The least and the least on that list are likes. Okay. Because, because you just can't basically trust technology. I just saw on LinkedIn that um, finance usage apps, uh, finance apps usage are now up. Now I'm not sure kung saan country on. <clears throat> just came to realize that well, I should have downloaded my bank's app. I gotta admit. I didn't foresee this event, right? This is this is what that's why it's called the Black Swan event. It's unforeseen. <clears throat> but um due to my um distrust for for online banking apps, even my own bank's app, okay? I I'm not using it right now. So, I don't know if my account is still there. And uh, more recently, my mother's bank also advised her to use uh, to employ to employ online banking. Because may app din yung may app din yung banko niya. And I've yet to to help her on that. <clears throat> yung ako, ako nga eh. I don't I don't I don't use I I don't use online banking apps. And right now. Uh, I'm regretting it. Okay, I have absolutely no idea if my bank, if my account is still there. But um, I'll try to, I'll try to contact my bank about it. So on how to activate it, or if my, um, if my welcome mail for my ATM card is still there, but I may information about that. So yeah. I'm regretting not, uh, not uh, getting into online banking right now. <clears throat> I just received confirmation from Lazada about my order, the pending order, which has been pending for um, two months since the quarantine began. Actually, uh, it's a, it's a sign, and I just we just received our. Uh, delivery order from McDonald's. Kapag okay. order kami from McDo <laughs> for first in a uh, first in probably four weeks. So it's a good sign, All right? That business is slowly uh, returning to their returning to usual. Right? It's slowly becoming business as usual now. Especially the uh, especially some deliveries. All right. I'm now waiting for my order from Lazada. It's, uh, it's due this morning. I want my chia seeds. <laughs> uh, well, it's going to be it's going to be a week more before the quarantine is either lifted or modified. So 
tingin ko companies like Lazada, McDonald's, and probably even Shopee, they're now slowly considering to return to to go back to the normal to go back to normal to be, become business as usual to be on to be on business as usual mode because well tatagal pa uh they're siguro they're foreseeing na baka magtagal pa to and kawawa na yung mga customer nila lalo na sa ano uh you can't buy you can't buy alcohol that easily these days or even hand sanitizer my brand deal with Little Warriors on, is on hold right now because uh, their uh, their deliveries couldn't be they're, they're, they're on hold of course the deliveries nila. I couldn't even order products for myself so on hold yung brand deal ko ngayon with Little Warrior but I still keep on but I'm still I'm still promoting that as you can see uh, sa lower thirds Okay, I promote I promote knock out right now because it's more it's more relevant. Okay, it's a room and linen spray kasi. But enough of that. <laughs> makikita niyo naman yun. Makikita niyo naman dun eh. Okay. Makikita niyo sa baba yun. So, yep. Business is slowly returning to normal as yan. Uh, McDonald's was able to deliver our food. Then mamaya naman ang Lazada, it's Lazada's turn. Uh yeah, it's Lazada's it's turn naman. So, hinihintay ko yung napending kong delivery. Actually, marami akong napending na deliveries dun eh. So, yeah, it's a good sign. And, like, uh, like everyone is saying, right? Everything will, everything will work out fine. Everything's going to be alright. So, there's no need to panic. Right? So, Business as usual again. I just recalled um, the uh, well, it's it's on my sticky notes. Seven things I learned from uh, from Dan Locke when I uh, first encountered his uh, his videos his videos on YouTube. <clears throat> the sev number seven is. Do not sell to cheap and difficult people. Okay? Because they are the ones who are going to give you, uh, they are the ones who are going to underpay you. Okay? Whether you're a, uh, whether you're a uh, regular salesperson, network marketer, or even a home-based entrepreneur, or even a, well, even a mainstream entrepreneur. Okay? You'll be forced to, to sell yourself short because of them and well you'll be forced to under to undervalue to undervalue the product you're selling or service okay which leads me to this never settle for chump change why simply lang <clears throat> Because you would be devaluing yourself in the marketplace. Okay. Personally, I don't bite into the discount to the discount objection anymore. Okay. Now, if you well, if you're the prospect, I will tell you. Well, kung hindi ko yung agree sa presyo, well, <clears throat> you might as well you might as well uh, seek out my competitor. Or competitors, maybe they'll offer you a better price. Ang akin lang, okay. I'm just, I'm just talking to you as the prospect, okay. If you're the prospect. Ang akin lang. My product or service has more value than than them. I can provide more value without sacrificing the price. Price close. Yan ang pinakamadalas na kagatin ng mga bagong salesperson or network marketer. Okay? They would go, you would instantly go into justification mode kasi. Now, if you do that, you are now settling for chump change. Barya na lang. Tatanggap ka na lang ng barya. These days, you have 
to value yourself first as a uh, well, as a person, as a network marketer, as an, an as an entrepreneur, as a uh, as a sales professional. Those types of prospects will not give you the long term value. Okay? Will not justify the long term value you can give. Well, <clears throat> like um, if there are if there is a direct setting or network marketing company that offers well. Not much. Unless you're an established network marketer, don't join. Okay, unless you're, um, unless you, need, you really need the money, you might join. But hey, you just, you, you will only undervalue yourself. Kailangan from the get-go. You should know your own personal value so that people will not undervalue you okay if you if you value yourself highly others will value will value you highly right so never settle for chump change I'm several hours removed from uh, accomplishing what I'm out of what I've been trying to accomplish uh, for the past few days during this social media planning week of mine is a Pinterest campaign for uh, for my old uh, for my old weekly digest content it's uh, YouTube I was able to accomplish it okay I was able to schedule all of them through later and of course use uh, make pins through canva i almost forgot what to do okay a good thing it's been ringing in my head for the past few days so as of and then i started i started that started uh doing that thing yesterday afternoon and early this evening i was able to finish it all but here's a lesson here there, there's a lesson to be learned here for you for for everyone on reddit you gotta write your ideas down every time all right here in the phone tab diaries all right okay i now write my uh, ideas for the diaries uh, i don't used to do i don't uh I don't used to do this, okay? Hindi ko gawain ng araw to when I started when I started the phone tab diaries. But um, it's a virtual daily vlog, daily cross-platform vlog. Okay, let's be clear on that. So I have to write down my ideas. Okay, and who knows? It might inspire another. It might inspire a YouTube video of mine. It might inspire a blog post, a new blog post, okay? which I am due to write. Uh, before June, <laughs> at least two. I'm targeting at least two two new blog posts before June. So yeah, you gotta write your ideas down, no matter how, no matter how uh, shitty, no matter how outrageous, no matter how, uh, no matter how pathetic that idea is. You have to write it down, All right? Because well. If you write them down, you always have that tendency to come back to it, to go back to that idea. I I've developed that tendency already. So yeah, the lockdown life is, uh, is making me learn these lessons. <laughs> okay, this COVID nineteen lockdown is making me learn these things. All right, rediscovering my content, uh, my content, uh, my content creation roots. So to speak. So you got you, you got an idea. Write it down, right? Just write it down. Write it on a piece of paper, or if you have a uh, if you have a notepad app on your phone or phone tablet, or even your laptop, type it. Me, I just I always have this uh, 
It's one for quiz pad ready. Well. No matter how small the idea is, it can become, it can magnify itself. So you gotta write your ideas down. If you're a content creator, well, not just for content, not just for content creators actually. Okay? If you're, if you're, um, if you're a home-based entrepreneur who has another business idea, write it down. If you're a student and well, you got a um, You got a, you got a new project in mind. Write it down. Write down that idea. Okay. Because well, the element of time, right? The element of time is your uh, time can be your enemy if you don't write that idea down. Because I guarantee you, if you don't write a, if you don't write that idea down, you're going to forget that tomorrow. And all all it takes. It's a good night's sleep <laughs> all right that's one pitfall of a good night's sleep you tend to forget those ideas you get you tend to forget those ideas the next day so if you got an idea if you got an idea no matter how big small or or outrageous it is write it down <laughs>